I literally just have worst anxiety ever. Why? My hair is atrocious today. I'll just be like vibing, hanging out, and then I will randomly get really stressed about pretty much everything there is to possibly get stressed about in my entire life. And then I get super anxious. It's a really awesome cycle. So I got these cupcakes at ATV and they were like velvet cupcakes with the best icing ever. I got them because it was my friend's birthday over the weekend and I don't think he even ate one. I'm pretty sure me and my other friend ate all of them. So I just thought I'd share that with the class. <laughs> I just finished the last one. <sighs> That was a nice little distraction to talk about cupcakes for a second. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my struggles with anxiety and then how I deal with those struggles. I've struggled with anxiety for a couple of years, since I was like 17 really. For me, anxiety and depression always go hand in hand. As soon as the thoughts in my head get like so overwhelming, it starts to cause that like super anxious feeling. And then usually either right before or right after, depression is following right there just ready to be like why are you even alive things have gotten significantly better this past year i've really really worked on that and given a lot of it to god but sometimes it just still happens and i feel like there's nothing i can do to stop these things from happening it's just like the way that i function and it sucks um so like this time my anxiety was triggered by something and this is usually how it goes so like i started doing all this stuff because tax season is coming up and as someone who's self-employed tax season is extremely stressful so i just like logged into my thing with my tax assistant and saw how much stuff that i have to do and it just like extremely extremely overwhelmed me and made me feel like there's just way too much going on and then i was also thinking about all the stuff i need to do with work and with youtube and just everything and it's like i literally i physically can't do anything in this exact current moment because i'm still waiting on stuff but it's also sunday so i'm trying to keep it as like a chill relaxed day having like a break but I don't do well with breaks because it's the days that I have breaks that I overthink literally everything. So it's not the most fun time in my head. But I also want to show you guys how I deal with my anxiety and how I've gotten like a lot of my anxieties to go away. Step number one is I am going to get my journal and make a to-do list. Because when I have a plan, it's not just all in my head that it needs to be done right now or never. And I actually plan it out. I feel a little less anxious. writing down some different categories so first I just did my to do's that I know need to get done like at some point during this week I at least need to start these things and then I wrote down events that I know I have to go to um, then I was like still feel I was feeling a little better but still a little anxious so I decided to do some gratitude so I just wrote down some things I was really thankful for this past week um, I wrote down some things I'm really looking forward to and I think something that'll help ease my mind is I'm gonna do a list of things that are completely out of my control uh, because I feel like those are the things that tend to make me the most anxious I I definitely am like I need control in my life and I obviously can't always have control over everything that goes on which is why I need to trust God definitely definitely a challenge but I'm working on it so I'm just gonna write some of that stuff down we're just gonna plop over here onto my super comfy new bed which I'll tell you guys a little bit about why there's a bed and stuff after we get through the segment of the video Time for my Bible study. So literally the only way I can ever get my anxiety to go away is by doing my Bible study and not just reading, like actually trying to listen to what God is telling me, actually spend time with God on top of just like my regular reading that I do every day, which I follow this cute little book. Um, I joined a women's Bible study and we are reading through this book and that starts on Monday. So I'm really excited for that. It comes with this cute little worksheet that I'm gonna fill out. And then also in the 
like community group with the people my age. We do Bible studies on Tuesday, so I'll probably just like read what we're gonna be reading on Tuesday. So yeah, I just kind of want to dive in, spend some time with God right now. I also got these like little stickers for my Bible because I still don't know, the, like I do know the order of the Bible, but like when you're flipping through it, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm just like, wait, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? So I think just getting these little stickers would help. And then I put this little thing on and I finally have little bookmarks in my Bible. So that helps also. Let's spend time with God. I'm actually getting kind of toasty now that I'm filming. Also, I'm wearing my Valentine's Day merch. Let me know if you guys want me to sell this again this year. You guys always love this merch. <laughs> it's one of my favorite little crew necks and I always wear it like all February. I also got this new shirt, kind of obsessed. It just says Jesus loves you, oversized tee. It's a vibe. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked, so going to do this. Okay, wait, I actually do have to look at my phone because I don't remember. Wait, does this tell me what I need to read on here? I'll just read the email to make sure. See, just opening my email gave me so much anxiety. Um, I'm gonna start by reading this and then there's Bible verses that go with it. It's literally so tiny. Like, it's the size of my hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, literally only read the intro. And it was such a banger. I literally like, feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's so good. And I already knew it was gonna be about this because the first chapter is called, is called Realize God Means For You To Move Forward. And then that little intro was just talking about how God may have helped you through a crisis and got you to where you are today, but now you need to move on and that he's gonna be with you every step of the way. And it says, whatever your age, whatever your past, whatever your scars, Jesus himself is ready to lead you to a rewarding future. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready, let's go. I'm gonna read chapter one and I will get back to you. Okay, chapter one was a banger. <laughs> it was literally exactly what I needed to hear right now. And I feel like a thousand times less stressed and less anxious. Um, also, I got these new highlighters. Look how cute they are. I'm excited to see what they actually look like on my Bible. Ooh, I don't know what color. I think I'll go for this like kind of, they're all like very neutral tones, but it's kind of purpley. Now I'm gonna do some Bible reading. Okay, uh, I know it's awful lighting in here, but this is definitely not purple. And now looking at it, I'm like, why did I even think this looked purple at all? I think I'll go for more of like this pinkish, this one. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty. We'll go with this. Okay, I finished my Bible study for the day and my reading and my little worksheet for my Bible study tomorrow night with the group of women. I feel so much better. All of that literally helped so much. I think a lot of times I don't realize that I haven't actually taken time out of my day to just sit in a quiet room with my phone on do not disturb, my laptop closed. I'm not thinking about video ideas. I'm not thinking about what I'm gonna do tonight. All the things that are stressing me out. I'm not thinking about anything work related. And I'm truly just trying to listen to God, read his word, spend time with him because there's definitely a difference between just reading and like actually spending time with God. So I definitely feel so much better after that. Would highly recommend. And I was like on the verge of a panic attack and now I'm like super chill and calm <laughs> and hungry, ready for dinner. So now I'm gonna show you guys my room. So I waited till daytime another day so that it'd be better lighting so I could show you guys this. But I did a little bit of reorganization because if you didn't know, my best friend Charlie, ah, I'm so excited. She's gonna be moving in with me in March, uh, probably like the beginning or middle of March. And we're gonna be roommates. So she's gonna be down here in this room. I got a bed for her and I moved my desk into the living room so let me show you so this is my desk setup um i really like it in here actually i feel like i've been using it more and like i feel like it makes the living room very cozy i don't know i i really like it um my piano that i literally practiced for like a week and haven't touched since but yeah i feel like i've been sitting there actually using it a lot more since it's like right in the living room and then here's the bed i actually slept in it last night because well i had to test it out i can't let my best friend have this be her bed without knowing how comfy it is and let me tell you i slept amazing last night so the bed's not made right now because i don't feel like making it but it is really comfy it's kind of a mess in here right now 
But, um, so this will be her bed, and then I'm actually probably gonna leave this desk in here. She said that's fine. And then she can kind of use it, and I can still keep my printer and, like, some work stuff over here. And then we're just gonna share. I'm gonna clean out some of these drawers and stuff, and we'll share the vanity. And she can move everything around however she wants, but this is kind of how it is set up right now. And then, of course, she has her own bathroom, because this has a bathroom attached to it. And I have this, um, mattress topper. So now, I can not only have guests here, well, until Charlie moves in, but also on my couch. Or she can use that if she wants. I got options. Yeah, I still kind of have my crap all over this room and everywhere, but I'm gonna worry about that. I'm still using the room and like I've been editing and hanging out on this bed down here. I'm gonna be using it just until she moves in, so it's whatever. But um, the reason I didn't put my desk in my room, which I have a really big room, but if I have anything other than like my bed in my room i will spend all day in my room and that's just bad news for me it's not good for my mental health it's just overall not a good idea for me to be in one room up in my room so i'd rather be in the living room and then if i have like friends over i'm just right there or when charlie moves in or whatever like i'm right there i don't know i just like that <laughs> and then now if i have a lot of people over i have an extra chair in the living room to watch the tv but I never have that many people over. <laughs> so I'm definitely super excited for Charlie to move in. Been getting everything kind of ready for that. And I really like the new setup in here. When I do my reaction videos, I love this as like the background. I feel like that just looks really nice in the background rather than having like my desk and the bathroom doors and everything in my background in that room. This is all just working out very well. Um, whenever Charlie was first gonna move in, I was concerned like how where's my desk gonna go? Like I don't really want it to be upstairs and all that But it fits so perfect with the couch just right there. It works out really well. So wow, this light is really bright <laughs> 10 out of 10 a few other little updates yesterday I did a to-do list on my in my notes app and I put it on my story as I was doing things on Instagram And I literally got so much done I did everything on my list and today I made another list and have done nothing on it. So great I think it helps when I post it because then I feel like I have to do it. <laughs> so you might be seeing more of that on my Instagram if you want to go follow me, Sid Francis. But another update, I did my women's Bible study and it turned out so good. I was definitely the youngest there by like 10, 20 years, but it was really fun and very insightful. And everyone was like so nice and I related to like a lot of the stuff we were all talking about, which was really cool. And um, so <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I entered in the address and then pressed go and then I had stopped it because I was still walking out to my car. And I got back in the car and just clicked on the most recent address because why would it not be the address I'm supposed to go to? I end up driving 20 minutes the wrong direction. So then I had to drive 35 minutes to actually get there. And I had left where I'd get there right on time. So I was like 30 minutes late. So that was like, just like, how did that even happen? Like, I thought I knew which way to go. And then when it told me to go the other way, I was like, oh. I guess I just looked at the map wrong. Like, I'm stupid. Like, I get directions wrong all the time. Um, no, it turns out I was smart, but stupid at the same time because I went the wrong way. But everyone was really nice about me being late and didn't really care. So, it was stressful, but it's okay. My birthday is at the end of February. I'm going to South Carolina for a week with my brothers, with my mom. And that's kind of like every life update that you didn't ask for. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me deal with my anxiety. And I've added anxiety today. I'm feeling really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you the next one. Bye!